Welcome to our lesson on enlarging objects by a scale factor and a center. So when we enlarge an object, the scale factor determines its size and the center determines its position. So we're going to begin with question A, where we're going to enlarge this by a scale factor of 2. This means we're going to enlarge every edge so it is double the size. So this length of 1 is enlarged to a length of 2. And the base, which has a length of 3 on the object, has a length of 6 on the enlarged image. So this length, which is 1 on the object, becomes 2 on the image. And I can go around the entire shape, making every length twice as big. So here we have the enlarged image of the object in question A. For question B, I'm going to enlarge the L shape by a scale factor of 3. This means we make every edge three times as big. So the base, which is a length of 2 on the object, has a length of 6 on the image. And this length, which is 1 on the object, has a length of 3 on the image here. And again, this one is enlarged to a length of 3. And this length of 2 is enlarged to 6. And then 3 again. And if I've done it correctly, the final vertical length will have a length of 9, which it does. And the original has a length of 3. OK, let's move on to question C. So I've redrawn question C to make it a bit more clear. And now we have a centre. And this centre determines the location of the enlarged image. Because this base has a length of 2, I'm going to enlarge it by a length of 4, given the scale factor of 2. But I'm going to enlarge it from the centre, which is a red dot. So this becomes the 4 length here. And this length of 3 is enlarged to 6, but again, it's enlarged from the centre. And then finally, this diagonal length I can use to close the shape. So now I've created the enlarged image of the object in C. OK, let's try some more questions. So do you want to try and enlarge the objects in questions A, B and C yourself? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So in question A, the rectangle has a width of 2 and a length of 3. So when we enlarge it by a scale factor of 2, we make each length twice as big. So a 2 becomes 4, like this. And the length of 3 becomes the length of 6 in the image. So this is our enlarged rectangle. And for question B, we've got a length of 2 here and a scale factor of 3. So this is going to be enlarged to 6. And this length of 2 and here as well, again, becomes 6 because 2 times 3 is 6. And this vertex on the object is one diagonal unit across. So I enlarge it by three diagonal units. And I can do the same to the other side. So this is our enlarged pentagon. OK, let's try question C. So again, I've redrawn the object to make it more clear. And now we have a scale factor of 1 half. And the centre is this red dot here. So you can see the length of our trapezium is 6 on the top and 4 going down vertically. So when we enlarge each edge by a half, we're going to reduce the size. So this length of 6 becomes a length of 3 from the centre. And the vertical length of 4 becomes a vertical length of 2. And this length here becomes 1. And then we can close the trapezium. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.